Assalamu alaikum. I'm Fosia Latif from Pakistan. I'm an environmental student. I have some questions, sir. Um, what do you think that uh, uh, is this the man who is uh, destroying environment and uh, this scientific uh, growth is leading to the end of the world? So please, I want uh, the question in the um, from Quran and Hadith. Thank you. Sister has a question that the man is destroying environment and is it leading to the end of the world? I do agree that science and technology, it has pros and cons, advantage and disadvantage. Sometimes the advantage is more than disadvantage, sometimes the disadvantage is more than advantage. You know, previously there was no telephone. Then telephone came, then mobile came. Our peace of mind is disrupted. Now you cannot think of living without a mobile. Previously, now mobile you are carrying everywhere, you are going to the bathroom also carrying your mobile, you are sleeping with your mobile, you are, you are with your family and the mobile system. So it's good. Is mobile good? Yes, good. Bad? Yes, it's bad. Advantage, disadvantage. Previously you used to sleep peacefully, now you can do things with the press of a button. You can speak, you can see your family from across the world, but it's disrupting your peace also. Mobile by the radiation going to your brain, they can be cancelled, there are so many research. Good, bad. Technology, good, bad. We as Muslims, we as Muslims, we have to see to it that we stick to Quran and Surah, irrespective how much science and technology advances. We as Muslims should follow the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran and Surah, Mul chapter number 6 and verse number 2, Allah zi khalaq al mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. Irrespective how much, the science advances. You have to follow Quran and Sunnah. You cannot say because science is advancing, I will not follow Quran and Sunnah. If the science is advancing, and with the help of the science, you can follow better Quran and Sunnah, no problem. But that doesn't mean. So we as Muslim, this is a test for us. I agree with you that many a time science and technology advancing is spoiling the environment. It is benefiting. There are factories coming which is helping us. It is helping us in many things how to lead life. It is even spoiling the environment. There are pros and cons. We as Muslims should see to it that when we do anything, it should not go against Quran and Sunnah. That is important. A basic thing is, let the advancement be as much as we want. We have to follow the basics. We have to offer Salah. We have to offer Salah. Whether, wherever you are, whether you are in Mahatha, whether you are here, whether Science and technology, yes, advancing. Now in the mobile, I can know my Qibla very easily. I just press the button, I get the answer. So, we as Muslims should realize that we should see to it that we do not break any rules and regulation. I do agree with you that science and technology is spoiling environment, but it is benefiting us also. Many a times, the benefits are more than the advantages. advantages. Yeah, um, is this uh, scientific growth is leading to Qiyamat? Is there any um, mention? Uh, this is, is this mentioned Sister in Quran? Sister saying that is the scientific growth leading to Qiyamat. The Qiyamat La, will come. Like end of uh, word, you know. It is, Akhir Zaman. Yeah. Akhir Zaman. So is is Sister has a question. Is this scientific growth leading to Qiyamat? If it's leading, then don't involve in science. That's nothing like that. No, no, no. It's not like that. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the Quran clearly says in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, Verse number 27. No one knows the hour. When will the Kayama come? No one knows. Yeah. Whether science advances or not, Kayama will come. Now there are certain signs given in the Quran for the Kayama, given in the Hadith. Many signs. So will, is it leading, is it close? Yes, it's coming closer. How close? I don't know. One of the early signs of Qiyamah is the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad Every sign of Qiyamah is not good. Every sign of Qiyamah is not bad. One of the signs of Qiyamah is Muhammad Only after the last messenger will come, can the Qiyamah come. But that's a good sign. So Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger. Before the last messenger, Qiyamah cannot come. There are other signs of Qiyamah. That the Prophet said, that the Bedouin Arabs will compete with each other in making tall buildings. And now you saw the tallest buildings in the Muslim areas. It's good, bad, we don't know. People will compete in making mosques. There are many 
So all the signs which are mentioned are indicating that Kama is coming closer. But there is nothing mentioned that the difference between the first sign and the second sign, whether it is one day, whether it's one year, whether it's ten years, whether it's hundred years, Allah Alam. So if the signs are coming, we can say Kama is coming close. You cannot say for sure whether I will see that Kama. No one can see. Only Allah knows. No one knows. So these signs are coming, that means yes, Kama is approaching. But when? Whether you take another one day, Allah Alam can come tomorrow, can come after 10 days, can come after 10 years, after 100 years, after million years, maybe after billion years, I don't know. Only Allah knows. So we should not be so much bothered whether Kiyama comes or not, sister, you have to offer five times a day. Okay. Correct? Thank you. Our, our beloved prophet said, even tomorrow if you know Kiyama is yet plant a tree, no problem. You cannot say that tomorrow if camp, you will get reward for your good deeds. So you should think, no problem, but that doesn't mean it should trouble you. Your lifestyle will not change. You should lead your life that today may be your last day. Whether Kama is there a million years afterwards or ten days afterwards, you should lead your life that you follow all the fries. Do as much as mustab as you can. 100% don't do any haram. Abstain from the makru. Whether Kama comes or not, so we as Muslims should follow Quran and Sunnah so that we pass this test of examination and in the Akhirah we go to Jannah, inshallah. Mm-hmm. inshallah. Then pray to Allah, that may accept our efforts and put all of us in Jannah, inshallah. Amen. Thank you, sir.